Jersey. From politics to entertainment, from social issues to lifestyles, from newsmakers to pop culture. If it's Jersey, it's on Jersey Central with Burt Barron, 732-545-9282. Or toll free at 888-545-9282. Your state, your home, your voice. Jersey Central with Burt Barron on the new Talk Radio 1450 WCTC. It is 737. We're back on Jersey Central on the new Talk Radio 1450 WCTC, the voice of Central Jersey. Good Friday morning to you. I think we deserve a day around 80 degrees. What do you think after the march that we just went through, right? Well, that's what we got today. Full forecast is coming up at 745. We'll have another traffic update to some stuff going on with the trains today that Tom Colangelo will catch you up on in just a little bit. Got to congratulate Rochelle from Kendall Park, caller number 14, and got my final four tickets for Journey to Oz tomorrow at Kane Stage. Congratulations to her and to all the winners this past week. We'll have another prize, a brand new prize for you coming up on Monday here on WCTC. Special benefit fundraising event that's going to be happening next Saturday in Hillsborough. If you're a fan of the music of Jersey's greatest singer, Frank Sinatra, hello, and of course uh, the American Songbook, You'll love the show that is coming up. Uh, it is a benefit for the Lupus Foundation of America, the New Jersey chapter. And joining me now on the Jersey Central Newsmaker Hotline to talk about the work of the Lupus Foundation, and it is incredible work, and more information on the show. Uh, we have the president and CEO of the Jersey chapter, Lenny Andriuzzi, is with me here uh, on WCTC. Good morning, Lenny. It's Bert Barron. How are you today? Good morning, Bert. Happy Friday the 13th. Same to you, my friend, and uh, thanks for taking a few minutes uh, to talk this morning. Uh, we'll talk about this gig uh, in just a second here with Joe Manella, but uh, the Lupus uh, Foundation, the New Jersey chapter, you, you guys do amazing work in here. Give us a little overview of what the Lupus Foundation is all about. Well, the, the foundation, we're located in Livingston, New Jersey, and we cover everywhere from Bergen County down to Mercer and Ocean and all parts west of New Jersey. So it's northern and central New Jersey. Our primary goal is to help the lupus patient through education, research, uh, support, and we do that in a number of ways. Uh, we run educational seminars so that they can attend and talk to doctors who are researching or actually treating in the area. Uh, we run support groups uh, in four different counties. Uh, we attend health fairs so that we can spread lupus awareness. I do speaking engagements so people can become aware of the disease and how ravishing it is. Yeah, I think people have have heard of the term, uh, Lenny. They've heard of lupus before. But, you know, when you say, uh, oh, uh, I got a broken arm, you can see that somebody has a broken arm. When someone says, well, you know what, I might have lupus, I don't know if people really fully understand just just how tough this can be on people. Well, the... That's one of the major problems. The people look very healthy on the outside for the most part. Uh, the disease is an autoimmune disease. And that, I mean by that your, your immune system fights disease. It's your army. For some unknown reason, when you have lupus, your immune system cannot tell the difference between bacteria, virus, and healthy organs and tissues of the body. And it starts attacking healthy organs and tissues. It can affect the heart, the lungs, the brain, the kidneys, the joints, the blood, the brain, and it's different in every patient. So some patients might have a joint pain, which leads to arthritis, and some people may end up with kidney involvement, which could lead to uh, dialysis. Wow. And it's rather non-discriminatory, too, uh, right, Lenny? I mean, it doesn't matter. Young, old, anybody could uh, could wind up with this, right? Well, they, they find that it is predominantly a woman's disease between the ages of 11 and 45. Mm. 90% are women, 10% are men and teenagers and children. Uh, of the 90% that are women, over 50% are Asian-Americans, uh, Hispanics and African Americans, they don't know why that there is that difference. They don't have a cure for the disease, and they don't know what causes the disease. Wow. I, I think that's the answer I'm going to use if someone asks me about lupus uh, going forward, Lenny. I'm going to say, well, it's when your autoimmune uh, system actually works against you and tries to kill you, and maybe then people will understand what it's all about, right? Yes. 
it, it is it is a very devastating disease. We our term is it's the cruel mystery mm. because it is very hard to diagnose because the symptoms you have from lupus could be the same symptoms you have if you just had a problem with your heart or your kidneys. And the last thing they might look for is lupus as having caused those symptoms. Uh, they, for example, if you had a heart problem, you go to the heart doc, you go to your cardiologist, and he would check your cholesterol and do the EKG and the echocardiogram and then change your diet and because you have symptoms of heart problems. When you have lupus, it causes an inflammation around the heart, which causes those same symptoms. So Yeah, I see why it's so tough to pinpoint then, sure. Well, it takes, they say now it takes between, once they suspect it, to confirm the disease might take four to five years. Wow. And if this disease is not caught, people have to understand, if this disease is not caught in time and is not treated properly, it's fatal. It can be fair. That's terrible. Man, I, I want to drive people to your website, Lenny. It's uh, lupusnj.org, and uh, get some information. Find out about this. Uh, there's ways that you can help. I know that uh, my wife and I, every couple months, we leave out a couple boxes of stuff that we donate to lupus uh, to kind of help Lenny and his group and their mission. So whatever you can do to help out is, is greatly appreciated. And, again, lupusnj.org. Uh, uh, Lenny, let's talk about what's happening on April 21st. And uh, and Joe Manella, he's going to be putting a, a great show on for you guys, right? Oh, yes. Uh, Joe's been a friend of mine for a number of years. Uh, he agreed to do a, a show where we're going to do the music of Sinatra and the American Songbook. It's going to be April 21st at 7 p.m. at the Hillsborough Municipal Building on 379 South Branch Road in Hillsboro. Uh Tickets are thirty dollars in advance of the show, and forty dollars if you come at the door. Uh, what we plan to have is we have a DJ who will perform from seven to eight. Then Joe will be on from eight to about nine thirty. Uh, we'll have some room for dancing. We'll have desserts. We'll have a raffle. And we hope to have a good time and raise some funds for the organization. Yeah, this sounds great. And uh, he's a guy, he's done the singing, he's uh, performed with a lot of people. Uh, he's been on Law & Order, too, Lenny. When when somebody's been on Law & Order, they've made it. And he, he's been on an episode of Law & Order. That, as far as I know, I That's haven't right. seen him, but <laughs> right, I understand right. he's been on it. But uh, many thanks to him uh, for, for, for lending his time and talents to this great event, too. And again, it's a week from Saturday. Uh, the Hillsboro Municipal Building. Uh, this is uh, the, the back room there on South Branch Road in Hillsboro, right, to Lenny? That's yeah, where it is? it's a multi-purpose room. All right. Get your tickets. Don't uh, go in, just don't go in and to the police station and think you're going to see the show. Especially if there's a warrant for you. Then you definitely don't want to go into the police correct. station. Right, right. But uh, you can get the information, lupusnj.org, and uh, you're helping out a, a great organization of people uh, here in Jersey with a night of some uh, some terrific entertainment. But uh, check out that website and, and buy some tickets. Get your friends and families together and to help out our friends uh, from the Lupus uh, Foundation of America, the Jersey chapter. Uh, Lenny Andriuzzi, thank you for the time. It was great talking to you today. And, and have some fun next Saturday, all right? And thank you for the work you're doing uh, against Lupus in Jersey, all right? Thank you for having us on to support. Support the organization. Anytime, Thank Lenny. You. Thank you so much. All right, Jersey Central traffic and weather time at 7.